on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Jumbo Jukiba, you are being tried. What are crimes of genetic manipulation as well as creating a bioweapon? As well as playing God. How do you plead? Not guilty. It's just a theory of mine that it says it could be possible to create lives or some means with some DNA from this and that and you know even if I were able to make one I would never make more than one as yes they see Zuku and Zuku looking at them saying hi it speaks <gasps> now listen it's um I can explain this. It's actually... Is that who I think it is? Uh, huh? Wait, what? Grand Council, you know... This... Thing... You didn't. What? Didn't what? I... Whatever you think I did, I didn't do it. As then Izuku looks at Grand Councilwoman, Auntie? As yes, she looks at Jabba and stares daggers at him. Pretty much saying, lock his ass up, throw away the key, then make it so the key is never found again. Then lock him up again in a smaller cell and throw away that key into the abyss. And again, they are wondering, like, what the fuck? What's going on? As when it comes to Izuku, like, what are we do with that thing? Get rid of it. Very well. As yes, it's pretty much as simple as it would be in the movie. The only thing is. Grand Councilwoman just talks with Jabba. <sighs> I should have known you realize it soon enough. You know what you did was wrong. Wrong? Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Oh, please. What well, I did is revolutionary. So you admit what you did. Yes. I do. I just couldn't cope anymore. So you made a replacement for him. No, I didn't. I fixed him. I brought him back. You can't honestly believe that. Oh, I do. I really do. Izuku is dead. No, he isn't. <laughs> Don't you understand what I've done here? I've made it so no one has to lose their kid again. All I need 
is their DNA, possibly a corpse, and I can bring them back better, stronger than ever, to the point where we don't have to bury our kids anymore. What you did is an abomination. That's what that thing is. It does not belong here. How could you say that? After all those years together. I bet if I brought her back, you'd change your tune. <coughs> I won't have you sully the memory of our fallen by turning them into biological war machines. You understand how I felt when I lost him and his mother on the same day. <laughs> do you know how I felt to do all that work just for nothing? <laughs> What do you do? Huh? What do you do to help me? I offered a shoulder to cry on. No! You made peace with them. What? You made peace with the very beasts who took countless loved ones away, ruined planets, Murdered countless innocent people, took them away from their families, that ravaged homes, exterminated civilizations, and you expect everyone to just suck it up. You made peace with monsters and expect everyone to just be happy. The war is over. Go ahead and counsel, woman. You can call him by my name. No. We're not there. Not anymore. I was falling down an endless abyss where all I could see was the light slowly fading as I kept falling and falling. I know why you did it, but... <sighs> I just wish you would. I just really wish. I know. I'm sorry we weren't there in time. <laughs> you have no idea how it feels. You can go dodge first. I know. And I held Izuku in my arms. <sighs> As he bled out. He had tears in his eyes. But he kept smiling. I know. But I couldn't smile back. <sighs> I know. Do you remember what I told you he said to me? What?
He told me something Inko used to say. Don't let them see you cry. Don't let them take away your smile. As he faded in my arms. And then you show up. And free me. You free me from the captors. And they got the weapons I made. I, we captured and you didn't capture enough. Even after I was saved, they still had enough firepower. I built, I, I'm responsible for some of those deaths, but with what I did, Oizuku, I can bring back everyone we lost. No, you can't. But that abomination that you just carved away is proof that I can. That's not Izuku. He, that is him. No, it's not. He's just a replacement. No, 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 he's not. He's my son. I finally have him back. Don't take him away from me again. Java. No. No, wrong universe. Oh yes, Jumba. There you go. <sighs> Izuku's dead. So is Ingo. You can't bring someone back. <sighs> yes, I can. I know I can, because I have proof. I have living proof that I can reverse the effects of death and make them better. By turning them into weapons. No, making sure they don't die again. And what about you? What about once you grow old, get sick? too injured to the point where you can't heal and you die leaving him all alone then what I have a contingency plan of course you do but what if it doesn't work it always works I, I am sorry Jumbo but we have to dispose of it. You'll serve your time for your crimes. But that thing you created, it has to go. Just then, the alarm blares, and yes, Izuku escaped. He got a spaceship and activated, yeah. Hyperdriver, or however you called it in the movie. In which, Grand Councilwoman, yeah, she <laughs> pretty much uh, tailors a call to Izuku, to her, and Jamba. Which, <sighs> tell him to come back and we'll lighten your sentence. <laughs> Okay. How by how much? Hmm. 
by 200 years. Oh, how generous. Very well, I'll talk to him. As, yes, Izuku about to make the jump and he gets a call. Which is Jumba, of course, and he's, Dad, what's going on? <sighs> Sorry, Jake's son, but they're gone. No, execute me. They want you to come back for me and get yourself killed too. So I'm I'm sorry, but it's too late. Since you're about to make the jump, it's you can't come back and save me. As then the cut call the call and she's pretty much pissed. <laughs> Like, that was not what we were going to do. Do you have any idea what you've done? I didn't fail to protect them this time. I did what a father should do for his children. Protect them. <laughs> I was able to protect them this time. I have no regrets. <sighs> you know this is just gonna add more time and I have all the time in the world now that I know that my son is safe <sighs> you foolish that thing isn't your son never will be her walking out Pretty much pissed and frustrated every meaning of the word, while Jumba is pretty much content with his decision. As Izuku, he wants to turn back, but it's too late. He can't just break the whole jump and turn around. I mean, it will take too long for him to actually reroute the whole course and if anything else. So he has no choice to actually ride this out. In which he does knows like Earth, huh? Oh well. Let's see how this goes. Now. As far as it, when the ship crashes. It's not completely destroyed. Yeah, it has some working parts. But Izuku is pretty much... Uh, as you can guess, pissed, lost, wondering what's he gonna do now. That's just dawned on him that his dad is gonna die, all because he was created. Hell, he doesn't even know why. For some reason, some, some part of his memory is actually fuzzy. He can't even remember his mom for some reason. Hmm. Weird. But anyway, one thing's for sure, he has little to no trust when it comes to law enforcement. They're the ones that condemned him and his father, the ones that killed his father, so yeah, his opinion, the law can screw themselves. Yeah. So yes, he's doing his best to stay incognito as much as possible. Seeing the world full of quirks, he's okay, this is gonna be a lot more easy than I anticipated. Which he's actually what you would consider hmm, thirteen. Yeah, he has no identification, he has Though he does have a name, he's worried, like, okay, how advanced is this civilization? How much can I risk divulging? Like, do they know my dad? Do you know anything about extraterrestrial beings? <laughs> do they even have laser guns? Or holograms or whatnot? In which he gets a good look at some billboards and see all this hero 
Mama Jumbo. And he's actually kind of intrigued. Because he remembers them calling him an abomination. A, like a sin against nature. All this terribleness. So what's he trying to do? He tries to prove them wrong. And he accidentally becomes a vigilante, not knowing the laws, so it's everything's right in his book. Luckily, he is very strong, as well as him being uh, very durable. So if anything does actually pierce, cut, bludgeon him, he's actually like, is that all? He just walks it off like there's nothing wrong. People seeing him say people are like, wow, who is that? Who's that hero? Them not having a name, they just call him a vigilante. He has no guns, but he knows he can make something if he needs it. Thanks to him actually being raised as well as trained by Jumba, he knows his way around some technology. And again, no identification, no one knows who he is, <laughs> nowhere to stay. So he actually makes a makeshift home out of the wreckage of what his ship was. Luckily, he does have a fabricator for not only the equipment, but also food. Even though when it comes to him actually needing anything of sustenance, he can just hunt for it. Just exploring the new kinds of crazy ass animals. As he does dive more into the research and history of this plant, which... Yeah, he learns that humanity kind of sucks. Yeah, humans are kind of assholes to each other for no good reason besides greed and... Corruption and a whole bunch of negativity. I'm just wondering, wait, why can't people just get along? But seeing war, it brings back some haunting images into his mind. Much to the fact that he's kind of like, wait, why does some of this seem familiar? So, yeah, him thinking, okay, let's not, let's not uh, talk about the possibility of something that could uh, scar me for life. Let's just work on being a hero and making my name known throughout the galaxy. Him actually thinking he's doing a good job, but people, of course, have mixed feelings. Some calling him a hero, others calling him a reckless vigilante who needs to be put down or something. So, oh, come on. What's it going to take for you to believe that I'm awesome? As then, he hears a crash. And he runs in to see a destroyed building. And four people. One being Nana, another being Almighty Gran Torino, and the one and only All for One. Him seeing this and seeing Nana critically injured, Torino pulling Toshinori away is pretty much like, what the hell is this? But then it's like, wait, no, this is a villain fight. I got this. Him pushing Nana out of the way and taking the full brunt of all one's attack and he is sent flying through 10 buildings no no she is shocked so it was like, oh my just like what just happened Gran Torino's like what just did we just see someone die it's all for ones oh well that's that's just another one to add to the list the list of people I've killed <sighs> Time to add you, Miss Shimura. As you can guess by, uh... Oh. I hear no bell. 
Izuku walks on the scene again and is like, Okay, that kind of hurt. But what? As in, all for one is pretty much like, wait a minute, how? What kind of quirk? Seeing Izuku with the multiple arms, the spines protruding, the antenna. Is like, oh, who are you? Oh, my name is. Um. My name is. Um, let me think. What was it? Stitch! Or, you know, camera out. No, no, Stitch works. Is. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm here to stop you, villain! Huh? <sighs> Listen, kid, you are way. way out of your depth. Really? I've been doing well so far. What? Them hearing this is like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you that vigilante? Oh, you heard me? Oh. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how happy I am to see you. Huh? Wait, are you a fan of mine? No. Grabbing Izuku and slamming him into the ground. Everyone is trying to save him. All my Torino and Nana included, but they they can't do shit. As he's dragging Izuku through the ground, trying to hurt him, but just lifting him up, he's now scratches on him. Now single scratch. Then he tries to take Izuku's quirk, which he doesn't have one. So he is even more shocked, like, how are you alive and how can I can't take your quirk? Oh, that's what those powers are called? Huh. In that case, I don't have one. Him trying to burn Izuku. Thing. Oh yeah, I'm fireproof. Then his arm turns into a minigun. He shoots at Izuku. I'm also bulletproof. As he just tries to crush Izuku, he doesn't have enough enhancement or strength based quirks to really do much damage. But Izuku's like, ah, thank you so much. My back has been killing me. How? Izuku breaking out of his grip and pretty much one shotting off one. Now Shimura has no words. Everyone is speechless. As in, all for one is carried away to Tartarus, dazed, wondering what the hell is going on. How is he doing that? How come he doesn't? He says he doesn't have quirk, and he uh, die. Was I wrong? Is, is that Toshinori Brad not the... The eighth user? Just so many questions. And which... Yeah, none of us pretty much... What the hell is going on here? And yeah... Toshinori... Is, uh... uh you're welcome. As then guns are trained to him. It's like, are you guys more bad guys? I already told that one that I'm bulletproof. Put your hands up. Um, sure. Um, what's, what, what next? You're under arrest. What? For what? Why? I saved these people. Hands up. As then I was just like, wait, 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 wait. It's true. You saved us. But you did it illegally. Do you even have a hero's license? Um, 
you called yourself Stitch? Yeah. Obviously a fake name, but, but whatever. <laughs> Around here, you need a hero license to perform heroic acts. What? Yeah, that's how it's done here. Like, where are you from? Oh, I'm from... Wait, I can't tell my home planet. That that'll be too weird. Um... I'm... Uh... Maybe he doesn't really know his... Hold on, what makes sense? He does seem pretty young. Hmm. I'm from... Out of the... Out of town, or out of the country. Where am I actually? Huh. Well, this is Japan, and... Hmm. Interesting. Well, um... Uh... I, I would, uh, all I can say is, uh, yeah, you need a license to do the things you've been doing. So, you being a vigilante has to stop until you get a license and become a proper hero. Oh, but how long is that going to take? All you got to do is pass the provisional licensing exam, and then so on and so forth. You can become a true hero, even possibly get in the rankings. But how long is that going to take? Why can't I just be a hero now? <sighs> because it's the law. But the law is stupid! <laughs> no, no, will you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is adorable, but he—I mean, he's—he's he's wrong, but he's also right. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm being serious. Oh yeah, I know you're being serious, but <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It's just. You say it so bland. Uh, it's, it's just so adorable. Not adorable. Him just pouting. It's not just pats him on the head like it's okay. <sighs> so where do you live? Uh, mm. Then she gets a bare look at him. His attire... It's in tatters, pretty much. It's ripped up and everything, considering... Yeah, when it comes to him, he... He, he technically didn't need clothes. They weren't really required. So... So, I guess you're homeless. Yes. Hmm. Well, I guess you can stay with me and my family. What? Yeah, I mean, you did save my life. Might as well bring you in to my family. But but no, no, we 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 had to process him. He he broke the law. Yes, but this is technically his first offense. No, it's not. We have witnesses, proof of him being a vigilante. This is his first offense. That was the first one in which we captured him, so... You're really just going to disobey the rules, aren't you? He's just a kid. He doesn't know better. That is not an excuse. That is not at all an excuse to just let him walk around free. Okay, fine, then I'll adopt him. What? Yes, from now on, you're my son. Really? Yep. Yeah. Besides, I can't just let them arrest you. You're a hero. Well, technical vigilante, but... Uh, it all depends on perspective and yada yada yada. Izuku is happy as well as hopeful. 
Toshinori, the police, and yeah, Gran Torino are pretty much. You can't be serious. Gran Torino pretty much just like, what? Well, fuck it. It's not. She's gonna do whatever the hell she wants anyway. Might as well. I'll just let, let it go already. Yeah. So, yes, you can just imagine when Izuku does arrive at the Shimara residence. He's actually shocked to see that, uh, yeah, I knew this place was pretty low tech, but wow. What's this supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. As, yes, first he meets her son, the one who hates heroes. Realizing that, like, wait, you're the vigilante? He's like, yes. Okay. What's he doing here? He's like, this is your new baby brother. What? Yeah, I decided to adopt him. Mom, you can't just... Oh, yes, I can. Oh, I just see you stop me. Uh, okay. Yeah. You can't be serious. Oh, yes. He saved my life, and now, due to certain circumstances, I can actually retire soon. I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah. As soon as I reach a certain age, let's see. Hmm, let's see. In the near future, I can just stop being a hero. Roar. Oh, yeah. I mean, due to certain circumstances, thanks to this young one right here, I may not need to be a hero much longer. Plus, but one for all, slowly being drained away. What? Nothing. <laughs> Is there? He's a... Welcome to the family. <laughs> Uh, what's with the change in attitude? What? Oh, come on. I, I'm, I'm always hospitable. And, you know, <laughs> that's a lie. No, it's not. No, I can hear your heartbeat. It elevated as soon as you said that. <laughs> Such a kidder. Like, wait, where's... Where's Hannah and... Uh, oh, oh, them? Oh, yes, um, um, uh, they're in the back. You're lying again. Where are they really? Uh, in the rooms. Okay, that, that time is the truth. Izuku running up to see his new, huh, oh, see, niece and nephew, and he actually does see Tenko and... Hannah, uh, they're pretty much talking. But when they see Izuku, they're pretty much like, what the hell? Well, they don't say that, but it's pretty much like, who are you? I'm your uncle. What? Yeah. No, you're not. Oh, come on, I promise you I am. Pinky promise. Um... Now I'm running up, it's like, okay, I can explain. Jigo jumps at Nana. So I was huh, wondering, like, what are you doing here? We, we haven't seen you since. Wow. Actually, that's a good point. We haven't seen you pretty much ever, have we? Oh, that's right. Trying to keep them safe, I really limited the contact completely, didn't I? Well, let's just say thanks to this little guy right here, I'm going to be uh, around more often. We love you, Uncle. He's just enjoying the, the praise and the fact that he's somehow gained a new family and everything. So, yeah, since Nana didn't die, she can train Toshinori more 
as well as be actually around her family. And uh, with the watchful eye of Mommy Dearest, a certain someone can't abuse his children for lacking heroes. At least not as often as he would before. So, when Shigaraki does, at least Tenko in this case, does actually lock his quirk, he doesn't do it, he doesn't activate it on the dog by accident. He actually uses it on Izuku by accident. He's crumbling on Ray, but he's also like, ow! Oh, that hurt. As you can imagine, Teo's like, I am so sorry, I did not mean to do that, Izuku's like, no, no worries. I'm just healing up. This is nothing. Believe me, I was designed. I mean, I was uh, born very resilient. <laughs> nothing, nothing to worry about. R right. Seems like, wait, why did I say it like that? Huh. Weird. <clears throat> Either way, yeah, you don't have to worry about me. I, I could take some uh, punishment, no, no problem. So looks like you finally got your what is it called quirk. That's cool. That's cool. So I guess it's a, a decay version. Hmm. I can possibly see some applications in when it comes to hero work, but. Uh, Really? Like, like what? Because if anything, it, I just see it as dangerous. That, that it is. It, it, it can be very dangerous. But think of it like this: if you get good enough at it, imagine you there's a building that needs to be demolished. If you touch it, and it starts to decay. You save, God knows how much in equipment, materials, and whatnot, you know? Huh. And while well, well, someone was in the building, you will be able to make, make a way out through this amazing quirk of yours. Huh. I, I guess, uh, hmm. Never really thought of it like that. Well, granted, you did just get this quirk not too long ago, so. <laughs> All I can say is be careful. Hmm. We might need to test this, actually. What do you mean? <laughs> what do I mean? We might need to see how, when it comes to the whole, what does it really take to activate it? Like, uh, hmm, use me. What? Yeah, use me as a test subject to see how your cord works. Like, do both your your uh, hands make it so you can decay things, or is just one healing and one destroying, you know? Let's test it. Digo is very scared and wondering, like, are you sure? I don't want to end up hurting you. Like, that's cute. Go ahead. One finger, nothing. Then he just, he just adds his, like, a, when it gets to his thumb, it's like, ow. Okay, okay. So, ye all five digits. Okay, that's, what about the other hand? The same result. Okay, that's good information. Hmm, so I suggest you wear gloves. At least make sure that one finger, one of them digits, is covered. Mm. Okay. So I guess you need a special kind of gloves, nephew. Him pretty much thinking, oh, this is awesome. And yeah, when Nana hears about the quirk and how Izuku is being 
hella supportive and I was like, I don't know if that's not fair. I want what about my quirk? Her sneezing and realizing she has Nana's quirk. In which she's all too happy. So she could be a hero just like her grandma. Dango is somewhat jealous, but Izuku lets it be known like it's okay. That just means you're gonna have to work a little harder and actually learn how to utilize this quirk the best way you can. Cause yeah, you have a decay quirk, so if anything, yes, that's very dangerous, but it can be very helpful if in the right hands. I mean, you guys know how my quirk, um, yeah, my quirk works, right? Yeah. But seriously, it's, it's kind of weird. You have so many quirks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a weird person. Very, very weird. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to take a nap. Izuku pretty much sneaking out in the middle of the night to check on his little home base made out of ship wreckage. Which you can just imagine is pretty much... <sighs> well, just a little longer. I can attend a, a Hero Academy, get my license, make my no name known throughout God knows how far. Hmm. I'll make you proud, Dad. As yes, you can just imagine Jumba. He's pretty much. Yeah, he's proud of his choice. He doesn't really care. He, for all he knows, he saved his son, and that's all that matters. Yeah, he may spend the rest of his life buying bars, but what a small price to pay. You know it didn't have to be like this. Hmm? What are you talking about? We could have made a deal. <laughs> I suppose. Yes. But. No. I. I honestly don't think so. Not not, not kind of a thing I would actually like to talk about right now, especially with you. <laughs> okay, okay. Listen. If we can at least talk. I really don't want to. Teach us to mm, apprehend your creation, my son. No. I... Come on. I want to help you here. No, you want to take away the last piece of me. I'm content with running away here. Yeah. But how do you think your son would feel if he knew that you are alive and that you lied? What? Let's just say 
that ship of his that he stole. Yes, what about it? Oh, nothing. Just, we see that it's still operational to a certain extent. Looks like he's been tinkering with it. Who knows? What if the communicator still works? <laughs> Are you really threatening me? Grand Councilwoman. Hmm. No, of course not. Oh, good. I know you're not that foolish. I don't make threats. I make promises. <sighs> Listen. Jamba. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. It doesn't matter to me which. Either way, your son or this abomination is my son. Either way, he will be brought down either by you or by one of us. <laughs> you really think well wouldn't it be better if you ended his life rather than one of my mindless drones that I have ready to pretty much kill me. this thing you made huh. I know Gantu would have be more than happy to prove his worth. Don't you think? <laughs> Go ahead. You, you, I don't care. You, you can try if you want, but it is not going to work. <laughs> really? What makes you so sure that we can't? never let me fully explain his capabilities what uh, uh, mm -mm. Uh, people think they're so smart that they don't need the genius uh, well you do need this genius if you want to apprehend my son which I would never help you with no matter what you offered me if anything I am kind of insulted that you think such a low ranking threat like Gantu would even be able to harm my boy wow Such confidence, assuredness. It's very interesting. Hmm. Doesn't matter. As soon as we apprehend Izugu, uh, <laughs> what did you say? Mm, nothing. You, you, you said his name. It was just a slip of the tongue. Experiment 626. Wait. Wait a minute. Why did you go with that? Hmm? Why... Why you give him the number 626? It can't be a birth date. Well, of course it could. 
No, 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 no. I know you, Jumba. 626. That one. Oh, my God. Hmm? What? There's something on your mind, Grand Councilwoman. He's not the only one, is he? Hey. Uh. <laughs> you bastard! I... Uh, uh. I can't believe you. You actually... How many? Uh. How... Many more are there? Is he even the last one? <clears throat> yes. Don't lie to me. He is. How many of them are operational? Uh, uh, one of them? Two? I, uh, all of them. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. We're going to, we're going to plan a raid on your lab just to get through your defenses and confiscate everything. He'll never break through my genius and oh please I practically grew up in your lab of course I know your codes uh, that's impossible the password is the name of your first pet isn't it I thought so. Bye. As yes, Java, he is actually pissed yet also <sighs> well played. Very well played, old friend. I respect you for that, but damn it. As yes, Izuku's life is pretty much gone and not complete without its hitches. Yeah, it was pretty much a twin months of training in which he does train with Toshinori and Gran Torino and well it's, nah nah. It's when Tenko and Hana show up, it's pretty much like, What are you guys doing here? Like, we wanna train with you so we can become heroes as well. I'm sorry, but you need permission from a hero to the they have our permission. Gran Torino and uh just throwing out their hands like yeah they have a permission to train when it comes to the whole who's stronger Izuku is stronger <laughs> than All Might at least Toshinori he's pretty much this is kind of sad like, uh, that's not fair how are you so strong Good genetics. <laughs> so you're pretty much a punching bag that punches back. Oh no. As yes, Shinori isn't flying. And uh, though she is enjoying this, she's also like, hmm. That kid has a very powerful quirk. Huh. Man. Seriously. Don't you know you don't let him s just show you up like that. Come on. Where, what's going on with training? What, what have you been doing all this time? Just talking all sorts of shit. Just like, damn it. I refuse to lose. It's not your fault. I'm just better. Izuku's starting to get a very cocky ass attitude to the point 
or even Nana is pretty much like, okay, someone needs to put this youngin in his place. So she knocks him into the ocean. Where he's floating around like a madman. Her telling him, oh, come on, it's not that bad. Realizing he's sinking, like, oh my god, he can't swim. So she dives in there and fishes him out. Pretty much like, what the hell was that? You really can't swim. No. As yes, touching on it is very much like, <laughs> really? Mm. That's too bad, because I can swim. Him just splashing water in Izuku's face, and Izuku is no blade. He's like, you better stop before I break you. Do something. <laughs>